It's a dead mouse. There's a jaw here. I feel like a princess whenever I explore these Western buildings. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Marie, and today I am going to be taking you on a tour of this magnificent Western style building here in Jimin. This Western style building I discovered right here in the town of Samwai where I live and it has always amazed me and funny story an old man showed me how to get in here and it's not locked so Okay, so I've got my headlamp on. I'm wearing my headlamp not because it's too dark, but because uh, I want you guys to be able to see as well. So let's head on in. Before we go in, I think we should also take some time to appreciate these doors. Look at how magnificent the outside detail of these doors are. So as we enter, there's a lot of rubble everywhere. Look at this beautiful chair sitting as soon as we come in. There's a jaw here, like teeth. Does it look like human teeth, maybe? I don't know guys, what do you think? It's weird. It's a dead mouse. The local cat killed it. So as we come through here, it's kind of like um, Chongqing Jin. We have like this little courtyard area. We can see the upper floor from below. And there's also a well here. And there's still water. To give you the story of this building, the building was built by a Kimonese that was working abroad in Singapore and he made a lot of money. So he built this home for him and his family in the 1930s. And then the Japanese occupied this building for about seven to 10 years in the 30s and 40s. And then during the war, um, the Taiwanese army occupied this building. But after that, what happened is this place was abandoned and then it became a KTV slash hotel slash bar. So this building has some serious history to it. When I walk through here, I'm always very careful. Like I test the floor, see how it feels. So. Welcome. Thank you very much, little fat kitty. Also, I noticed, look at this, they put a towel thing so you don't bump your head. Okay, now we are on the second floor. And this area is where the bar is. I think my favorite part is the lights. Look at that style, like the whole ceiling is crazy looking and then there's like this like tacky flower wallpaper on the fan. And this entire room here is very sketchy because it's not a room anymore. It's, it just falls straight through. So when I walk in places like this, before I go to the second floor, I'm always gonna like look up. For example, I'm gonna look at this and see like how stable does it look. And I mean, we can see that there's multiple layers of floor. So it's probably safe to walk on, but you know, it's always good to look at the ceiling to kind of get an idea of the condition of the floor above you. For those of you who are always saying you shouldn't do stuff by yourself like this, blah, blah, blah. Like I'm really careful about everything I do. All right. I used to live in places where I'd be like, maybe I'll get stabbed going to work today. And I think when you just have this perspective of life, like, and you're a very independent person, you're not gonna let being alone stop you from doing something. I am very aware there are some places that are definitely too dangerous to go by myself. 
So I have friends that will come and do stuff with me, absolutely. But I'm not going to let the lack of somebody around me prevent me from doing things and seeing things that I really want to see. Especially if I know how to take care of myself, which I think I'm good at. And then if we come back here, it's just another abandoned room. Nothing interesting enough to make me take the chance on going in. I must add, I love the style of this door. It is so like tacky 70s, 80s style. Such an interesting building. Like all of the aesthetic is so interesting and somehow works together so well. So now we're gonna head to the balcony and we are going to take the gorgeous detour. And we have reached the beautiful balcony. I feel like a princess whenever I explore these Western buildings and I'm like on the balcony overlooking everything. I think it's the perfect time to head up to the last floor but oh first here we go here's an old KTV room little disco ball up top uh, song selector down here this blue wallpaper I love it we have the same doors as we come through so here I don't feel as comfortable walking when I walk in these old buildings I always prefer to walk towards like the end of it somewhere where this is probably more sturdy and so we come back to the steps those are the steps and these are the steps to the attic and they are very small you can see how my foot is kind of hanging off so we have to be very careful walking up Okay, I have made it up the steps. The steps are insanely, insanely tiny. Look at these roots just growing through here. I always look at these roots and you know, I'm really, it makes me think that, you know, this building is someday going to be just taken over by this plant. And other than the fact that I really just, I have a sense of feeling and wonderment about buildings like this, I also think that making videos like this is important because someday one, maybe nobody will ever be able to come here again, and two, when you see a building like this being taken over by nature and it's not being maintained and honestly, it's probably irreversible, someday this building will not be accessible. So to me, it's important to preserve this because someday this memory will not be preservable if somebody doesn't do it. Thank you so much for watching today's video if you liked it give it a like make sure that you subscribe and i'll see you next time peace